Hello, friends and colleagues in Beta Group. This is the old dog looking over your paper. Hang on while we swing in and look at it. The first page looks good. You need to add Maria Hinojosa as your faculty mentor and uh, put L. Rusty Waller. Uh, J might stand for a whole lot of things. Okay. Now, one of the things I want you to do is get rid of this introduction right here. I don't want that. I want you to put the title. I want you to go straight in your page. That's what's going to be expected of the journal. After a, uh, after a comma, you don't have two spaces. You only have one. Now, there's a sentence here that's very cumbersome, and I want you to listen to it. However, could these achievement rates and stresses of accountability be one of the factors that is? Uh, I would say something like uh, be contributing to high attrition rates. All that stuff is superfluous. Uh, check there for space. That's a nitpicky thing. Now we start getting to where the rubber hits the road. It is. Uh, guys, don't turn anything into me that starts a sentence with a, a noun, a pronoun it. That's an ambiguous pronoun. What is? It is. Well, what's it? You, two, you rework that sentence and make it smooth. Your writing looks good. And then now we got another it's apostrophe s. It never use a contraction in, in a scholarly article. And then don't start a sentence with it. Rework that sentence and do away with that. Again, here's your double uh, section. It provides. It impedes. It provides. Uh, man, I don't know. You know, uh, I don't know, I must have mislicked there, but it states, get it, run it off, and write those sentences without using it at all. Because I'll go through and search the paper, and if it shows up, I'll burn it. Now, this is an interest. In an era where no child left behind has gripped the education, one must find if there is a direct correlation. That's very cumbersome. Um, one, one might suspect a correlation between the AIS rankings and teacher longevity, but you're not doing correlational study. You're doing a comparative study. So you need to rethink this a little bit right here, and you'll see more of that in the next module because I go at length to discuss with you uh, what a comparative study is. You're actually looking at district AI, AEIS ratings and then seeing if teacher longevity differs across those ratings. So you're looking at a relationship, not a relationship, but you're looking at uh, a comparative to see if that's what's going on. You're comparing those groups. Let's go back here to your first sentence. I thought you had a good first sentence. Today's schools face a dire situation involving Texas district ratings and teacher longevity. I think you had a good problem there. Very pleased with what you did. Well, I hope you don't feel that it beat you up too much, but it is very excited about what you have written. You've done a good job, and it thinks that you uh, need to just keep plugging. Uh, we love it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Uh, you know, watch this two spaces. It should be one after comma. But overall, you did a pretty good job. Very, very pleased with it. Hope you can rest tonight, make those changes, and get it back to me. Well done, beta group. Who loves you? The answer to that is the dog. I love you. Have a good night.